Greetings. Welcome back to Pink Odd Bird. Today we are here with the first set of two little journals for the Halloween collection that I've been working on. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so I put a poll up on the community board here on YouTube and I let you guys decide how you wanted to see these and you guys decided that I should release them two at a time. So here is the first set of two. They are these little mini cute soft cover Alice in Wonderland spooky journals. Uh, the insides of them are pretty much the same. Uh, the only difference really probably is the outside covers fabric. So I will go through these quickly and these will be available in my Etsy shop. You can check the description box below for the release date and time for these two little ones. And without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look. As you can see, these are tiny. They measure about five by e, three and three, four, three and three quarters to four inches, three and three quarters. So five by three and three quarters. So tiny little journals. They are soft covers and I thought it would be kind of fun to make these really oversized tassels. <laughs> little tiny journal and an oversized tassel. Um, of course, you can always just detach this. It's just on with a little clip and you can um, attach it to a different journal if you want, or you can kind of take this apart if you want and use all the fibers. It's up to you really, but that is the tassel that comes with it. I'm going to take this off so you can see. They both have a little skeleton hand just like this. And here is the journal closed with a little piece of sorry silk and there is a piece of lace at the base so this is how it looks and the fabric is like this really cool I'll take these out orange fabric with like little witch riding on a broom and I thought that was perfect because she almost kind of reminds me of Alice just a little bit so in the back pocket, there's just a couple of little pieces of ephemera, a Franken tag, and then this little pumpkin that you can use to journal on. And on the front cover, I have the cover image, which is on a piece of cardstock. I don't want to take it out because it fits like right perfectly into the pocket. Um, and then there's this little bat that I put in there and then a little tiny Hermelinda tag. Uh, you could write a little something to introduce your book. So that's the front. The image looks like this for the cover. It's really, really pretty. So opening on the inside, I have put this little piece here. Just I popped it in at the front for this book belongs to. And you can also write something on the back of that if you want. But it's just sitting here. You can glue it down if you want. It fits perfectly on the front cover. So I have used some of Mrs. Cog's Halloween words and um, lots of space to write in here and also just glue your own ephemera in. Oh, and I also used Tsunami Rose. I thought that these little Tsunami Rose um, digis would give the perfect little vibe for what I wanted for this book. So I used the Tsunami Rose as well. And I'll try and link to the kits that I used if I can remember. Oh, there are four little charms on the book. As you can see here, one, two, three, four, and they both have four. So most of these, I believe, are going to be on black cardstock, so you know what that means. Caterpillar here, some collage, paper collage, little fabric pocket. another tag in here I did do some stenciling another pocket little rat white rabbit there there see there's Alice on the broom kind of reminds me of the cover fabric a little and then I put this page here in upside down just because I thought it was kind of cool like to have the bats and then she's upside down. Plus it's kind of a topsy-turvy world that Alice lives in anyway. Mm -hmm. 
All right, and we've got another tag here and here as well. All right, pocket here. These books are so, so cute. Um, if you're just a fan of doing some small time journaling and memory keeping, having a little book like this is perfect. There's tons of pages in here too, lots of space. Um, even on pages like this, you can glue your own stuff up on top of image pages like this. So it's kind of perfect. And then the pages are so small, it's not really overwhelming to, to do some journaling. You know what I mean? And there's my stamp. So that is the orange. We'll call this one Orange Alice. Okay, and we'll take a look at this one here. As you can see, it has a tassel also. Same idea as the other. Another piece of sorry silk to hold it closed. Same little elements here in the front, the little bat and the little tag with the cover. If you wanted to, you could um, take this image out and you could just glue it um, on top of even the lace. The lace doesn't have to be a pocket, but I left it just in case because I really like the fabric. So again, you've got some little elements here in the back. And then I love this fabric because it's kind of like, reminds me of Cheshire Cat with this little cat here. <laughs> so that's how the fabric looks. It's kind of like a purple with like, um, you know, some moons and stuff like that. So it kind of reminds me of like Halloween night. So here we go, inside cover of this one. You've got your This Book Belongs To, Tuck Spot. Pretty much the same idea as the other. Love that little stamp. Kind of reminds me of the birds that she plays um, the croquette, croquette, croquette with. <laughs> the flamingos. I love this one, Tsunami Rose one here, because it kind of reminds me of like down the rabbit hole with all the letters going in a spiral. All right, there's my stamp. And that is this one. We'll call this one um, Purple Alice. So those are the two. Um, really, really cute. I hope you guys like these. Um, this is the kickoff. I do, I don't know if you guys saw my post or not, but I, I have a total of six. So this is two of the six. So there will be... Uh, four more coming up. All right, so don't forget to check the description box down below for when these are going to be available. I like to do it that way just to make sure everybody has a fair chance who might want to be able to grab one of these. And yeah, so I hope that you guys have enjoyed. Uh, look how cute these, these are just so tiny and so cute. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I will be back with more soon and I will be back a little bit later. Don't forget with the list of the October daily prompts. So that is going to wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, toodaloo.